The listeners, the reviewers, welcome to the second episode of the Spots Forum interviews. Uh, my name is Domas Komandoulis. I am a communication specialist here at Lithuanian Sports University. And today I'm joined by a journalist and a sports policy reviewer who nowadays could be called sports policy influencer, I guess, uh, Jens Ser Andersen. Uh, good to see you, Jens. How are you doing? Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me here. So on the 2nd of December, uh, we'll have Sports Forum, and that is the reason why we are recording this interview. Uh, there, Jens, you will be presenting a topic named uh, Good Governance, the key to safeguarding the values of sport. For the beginning, I want to ask you, what is this topic about and uh, what will the audience get if they listen to your seminar? Well, as uh, the title indicates, uh, play the game. Is one of our missions is to cover the gaps that are between the reality of sports politics uh, on the ground and also sometimes in the sports activities uh, themselves and the uh, so-called values of sport, uh, the values that we personally or nationally or sometimes internationally hold in high regard, uh, the values that serve to legitimize all the public and private investments we have in sport, the claims that sport unite us, that it uh, serves personal community and national development, uh, claims that can be right, but also can be very wrong. In my view, sport is not a good in itself. It's not an end in itself. Sport is a very powerful tool. And like all powerful tools, we can use it for good purposes, but we're not going to abuse it for bad things. So uh, Play the Game is uh, the name of organization founded in 1996. Uh, you're not only a founder of it, but uh, also an international director. And I'm curious to ask, uh, what is the main, main function of this platform? And what was the reason why uh, this organization started its activity? Originally, it started because I was a very impatient and young journalist who thought that there were numerous issues in sport that were never covered on the sports pages or anywhere else in sports journalism. Uh, the cultural, the financial, the, the historic, the, the political sides of sport, I found that there was so many important issues that went completely unnoticed. And then we decided to try first in Denmark at the national level and then at the international level in 1997, to try to open this debate by bringing people together at conferences. And people... That would, in, in this case, mean uh, politicians, sports politicians, sports officials, researchers, journalists, other kinds of stakeholders, in order to have an open, unbiased discussion about some of the critical issues of sport. And that's pretty much our key function. It very rapidly became clear that opening these questions was not a very popular thing and it became a very political thing. So we have, you could say now, we are in a gray zone between journalism and politics. Uh, our first mission is to make sure the debate is open and accessible for everyone. The next is to ensure that we bring up a lot of evidence, a lot of truth into this debate so that sport is not built on mythologies. And uh, last but not least, we are also, that comes a little with the other task, campaigning for democracy, transparency and freedom of expression. So uh, through 25 years of existence, uh, do you feel that you or uh, your organization play the game made a change in the world of sports. Uh, have you ever thought about this? Yes, we of course evaluate our efforts regularly. I think when I look back at all these years, I think it's fair to say that we have contributed to uh, changing the agenda of international sport. Uh, issues that 12 years ago were taboo, like corruption in organization, sexual abuse, 
systemic doping, match fixing, such issues, they are now on the agenda of, of almost every national and international gathering on sport policies. So in that, I, I think also I should say that the credit first and foremost go to the very courageous whistleblowers and journalists and academics who have uh, risked their careers, sometimes their life, to bring these truths forward. But Play the Game has acted as a kind of loudspeaker or, or forum, an asylum sometimes for these people. And, um, and that is our contribution. But one thing is, if the agenda has changed, yeah. and I think it has, another is, has the reality changed? And that's some of the things we can discuss in the Lithuanian sport. So uh, again, just a quick reminder that um, sports forum organized by Lithuanian Sports University will be held on the 2nd of December. Uh, just because you have your own part in it, I want to ask you one last question. Why do you think an event like a sports forum should be interesting and important to people from the sports industry? And how will they increase their knowledge if they join us on December 2nd? I think it's very important across that, that we create a dialogue across all stakeholders, given the challenges that sport everywhere faces. It's not, Lithuanian sport is not a, an exception in this world. You will also have challenges with doping, with match fixing, with abuse, and simply maybe sometimes with poor management. Uh, sport takes up so many societal resources, be they public or private. And it is everyone's duty to engage in debate about how we best benefit from these resources. How do we create the sport we want to see? This is not an issue we can just leave to a little group, close group of uh, elderly men at my age uh, in, uh, in, in rooms where, where no air enters and uh, where decisions are made on a very intransparent basis. This is something that concerns us all and I really hope I'm very encouraged by the initiative uh, that you have taken in Lithuania. I think all countries should have these regular uh, forums where big sports political issues are uh, put uh, up for debate. And uh, I look much forward to participating personally. Dear Jens, I want to thank you for the time you found for this interview. I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope that my questions weren't a nightmare to you. Hmm. Oh, no, they may. They make me wake a little bit up since we are still at the beginning of the week. Uh, and I promise that when I come to Lithuania, I have been uh, very much awake and look much forward to talking to Lithuanians about your reality. Also to our audience, I would like to encourage you to follow Lithuanian Sports University on Facebook, Instagram, or any other social platform. On the other hand, I want to remind you that uh, International Sports Forum is waiting for you on the 2nd of December. Many worldwide known scientists or sports industry people uh, will present their topics. The audience obviously will do the same. So you're all welcome to join. Thank you. And until the next time. Bye.